Forty-two years after the Boeing 747 first loomed out of the fog over Le Bourget and wowed the crowds with its unprecedented size at the 1969 Paris Air Show, the newest, even larger generation of Boeing's iconic jumbo is set to star at the 2011 event. As in 1969 when the passenger model led the way, the aircraft on display at Paris is also expected to be a passenger version, the 747-8 Intercontinental, the first one of which flew in March 2011. Like its identically proportioned freighter sibling, one of which may also put in an appearance, the 747-8 is 250 feet long, making it the largest aircraft ever made by Boeing. 18 feet longer than the 747-400 and 13 feet greater in wingspan. The 747-8 Intercontinental is also the longest passenger aircraft ever made, eclipsing its larger capacity rival, the Airbus A380. The freighter is designed with 16% more cargo volume than the 747-400. With a maximum structural payload capacity of 140 metric tons, the 747-8 freighter has 120 cubic meters, or 4,245 cubic feet, of volume, which means it can accommodate four additional main deck pallets and three additional lower hold pallets. Cargo Lux, which became launch customer in November 2005, was originally scheduled to take delivery in the third quarter of 2009. However, following production and development issues, including an aileron vibration discovered in flight tests, the carrier will receive its first aircraft later this summer. A total of 76 freighters are currently on order. Flight tests of the passenger variant, distinguished from the freighter by its stretched upper deck, meanwhile continues following its first flight. Seating 467 in a three-class layout, the 747-8 is Boeing's long study dancer to the very large airliner market and the challenge of the A380. The development of the General Electric GENX-1B engine for the 787 provided the final enabler by providing a basis for the advanced 747-sized Dash 2B67 derivative. Together with aerodynamic improvements, most notably a new 224-foot span supercritical wing, the 66,500-pound thrust engines will combine to ultimately offer 16% better fuel economy than Dash 400, giving the 747-8 a 12% advantage in seat mile costs. However, since it launched the 747-8 passenger variant in December 2006, when Boeing figured it would capture half of the 900 new large airplanes it forecast would be bought over the next 20 years, the orders have been so far slow to materialize. Besides Lufthansa's 20 firm orders, Boeing has picked up five each from Korean Air and Air China. Korean Air, ranked as the world's biggest scheduled cargo carrier, is so far the only customer to order both the passenger and freighter versions. Boeing is now focused on completing what it hopes will be a much shorter flight test and certification program for the passenger model, culminating in approval and initial delivery by year-end. Lufthansa, which is expected to receive its first 747 in March, will begin first passenger services with the type later in 2012. In the near future, Boeing and GE will also test an engine performance improvement package currently under design to close a fuel burn shortfall uncovered in flight tests of the freighter.